Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can add different translations for your Swift UI application. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna leave the content view and we're gonna head to the app over here. So click on the name of your app and then also select again over here. Now you're gonna go over here and where it says localization, here it says English. So that means that the only language available is English but we want to add something else so let's say for example we want to add um, Russian so we're gonna go ahead and click on the plus button and we're going to look for Russian so let's go ahead here and here it is Russian now it's going to uh, show this pop-up and what you want to do is make sure this is ticked on as well or checked in and then I'm going to click on finish and there we go so now we have our Russian now what we want to do after this is actually now add a file or a folder that will have the different translation for the different languages. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to content view. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on new file and we're going to want to add a string file. So we can keep scrolling until we find it or we can just simply type in string, string files over here. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to click on next. And what I'm going to do, and make sure you write it exactly the same. It has to be exactly the same, otherwise it will not work. It needs to be localizable, just like this. So I'm going to read it again. It's localizable, and it has to be exactly the same. And then I'm going to click on create. So now we have our localizable strings over here. And what I'm going to do is first, let's enter the phrases that we want to enter. For example, if I go to content view, right now we have this, hello world, just normal text. And it's going to be exactly the same for text field. It's going to be exactly the same for a button. All I'm going to be doing is I'm maybe just um, be replacing it. So instead of saying hello world, what we want to say is I am 21 or I am 5 or whatever it is. So let's just go over here and make up a phrase. So we're going to call our phrase. We're going to give it a title, so I'm going to say text1. And over here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be saying it's equal to, and inside of here, you're going to be putting whatever phrase or whatever sentence you want to translate. So let's say something just generic, something like type your username. So I'm going to paste it over here. So text1, whenever you refer to text1, it's going to refer to this phrase. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here on my right side and I'm going to click on localize, English, and localize. There we go. Now, if you look closely, we've got here two different languages and I'm going to check this one. So now we have English and Russian. And if I just open this, so this will get created now for us automatically, I can switch between English and Russian. So obviously for the English one, we're going to leave it as it is. And then for Russian, I'm gonna go over here and it's still, this remains the same text one, but here we can add the Russian translation. So I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new window here in Safari, Google Translate. And we're going to go from English to Russian. So this is what we want to display. That is the correct translation according to Google. We're going to go over here and what basically all we're going to do is we're going to remove this and instead put the Russian translation. Now something else that I just realized that it's wrong is we're meant to put and the line like this and obviously for the Russian one as well. Now before we run this app, let's just make sure if we build it by pressing command and B that we built this two files correctly and we don't have any issues as you can see. Now I'm going to go to content view again and now we obviously want to reference or select the text that we want. So remember we called it text1. I'm going to copy this so that I make sure I don't do any spelling mistakes. I'm going to go over here and people sometimes just put it inside of text but I actually like declaring it at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'll say let text1 and then two dots and then I'll say localized string key is equal to and inside of here I'm going to put what I'm referring to and then I will be removing this text and be putting text one just like this and now if I run this app if my phone language is English then I will simply get the English translation if it's Russian 
and I just mixed this up so let's go ahead and have this so if it's Russian if my phone is set on Russian then it's going to be the Russian translation if it's set on English it's going to be the English translation so let's just make sure here we have our English and here we have our Russian sorry about that so let's go ahead and run this app and see what will happen all right so as you can see now obviously because my phone is set on English it is showing the English translation but I will do now is I will actually close my app I will go to settings and I will change my language from having to be English into being Russian so I will go to language and region iPhone language let's go ahead and change that to Russian and it will load up and once that's done once I go back to the app and I'll show you that in a second once this loads it will be uh, completely in Russian so every sentence there that I entered over here every translation will be in Russian okay so my phone now is in Russian as you can see and what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to select English so I can actually just type in the app and find it and if I turn the app now as you can see it is now the Russian translation and it is the exact sentence that we referenced over here now we can add as many languages as you can Apple supports them all you're just gonna have to provide your own translation but as you can see it works thanks so much for watching this episode I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will and did benefit from this episode thank you and see you next